Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest. Thank you to all the people who've donated, left super chats, or even Patreon, all the patrons. Really appreciate it. Now, I want to give you guys some immediate internet reactions from the fight that just took place on ESPN, Pacquiao versus Horn. It was a competitive fight. Props to Jeff Horn for pulling a massive upset. And I'm going to do more videos with my thoughts, but I kind of want to give you thoughts of just other celebrities and people in the industry even. So we're, we're going to go through it. There's a lot of people talking. Pacquiao's still a big name. Right now, I'm on one of my favorite basketball players, the Black Mamba. Kobe Bryant, this is his verified page, and he put the Craig from Friday. Huh? You don't have my money or my weed, I'm killing you and him. Give me some chili Fritos. And he let you know with this gift, Pacquiao Horn. Speaking of gift, I think Jeff Horn got a gift. That's just me. Pacquiao Horn, and then he just put the huh, the ice cube when he was stuck. Right? Who else? Let's see what Errol Spence was talking about during the fight. Wow, Ishay Smith says Spence would kill Horn. I agree. I mean, even though Horn beat Pacquiao, Pacquiao's like 38. It's no excuse. He was still an underdog, but different fights. And he said, damn, Pacquiao a dog, Errol Spence. Javante said, it's time for the OGs to hang the gloves up and let the young bucks rock out. Free smoke. This is Spence's reaction, it looks like. He just put the eyes like, wow. Like, okay, it's anything is boxing. Joseph Diaz, <laughs> Errol Spence, get that strap, bro. Beat Horn's ass. Yeah, Horn, I can't see Horn beating Errol Spence. Teddy Atlas just rubbed Tim Bradley on the head. Lou DiBella had a, some things to say, too. Terrence Crawford toys with Manny. Playage, father time is a bastard. A fan said, a shop-worn 38-year-old Pacquiao still beats Keith Thurman, Cherry Garcia, and Sean Porter with relative ease. No way, no how, nowhere. Where, based on that performance, why would you even say that? You know what I'm saying? And Lou DeBell said, nothing but respect for Jeff Horn. True warrior with huge heart and balls. He still lost. Errol Spence beats both of them in a tag team match. Yeah, people are talking about this one. Bob Aram said, could it have been 7 to 5 for Manny? Yeah, but you can't argue with the result. Wow, Bob Aram's agreeing. Well, he set this up, it sounds like to me. And I'm not even a conspiracy theory dude, but it now Pacquiao don't have to fight Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, or any of the young gunners that are like in or around his division. You don't have to fight him. He could just fight Jeff Horn in another rematch. You get a twofer. And then that with his coupled with his senatorial duties, then that's his whole boxing calendar because he ain't going to fight three times a year with senator stuff. He'll be open for, like, let's say November of this year. They'll do the rematch with Jeff Horn. And then, you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. But Lou DeBella said, really watching the replay, I want to argue even more. I've, I've only watched it once myself. Someone said, a fan said, so if I landed 100 punches in one round but took more in the other 11, I don't win the fight. You get that, right? And DeBella says, stop it, mate. You're not talking darts. That's not how it went down. Watching again, I had it even clearer for Pacquiao. Ref almost stopped the fight. I can't wait to do my post fight because that's Lou DeBella he hit the nail on the head. I mean, you could come back from almost being stopped, but I don't really think... Aside from showing heart, Jeff Horn, I mean, he, I don't know. I don't think he closed the show like crazy, you know. Uh, we'll wait till my, my, the realest breakdown. 
Blown away that Jeff Horn had a victory speech prepared on paper, despite everything I said all night. Props to the guy, balls, hashtag heart. Yeah, see, that's what made it sound. It's just like when Canelo beat Chavez Jr. And then all of a sudden, they're like, what? And he's like, Golovkin, my friend, you are next. And then you hear, boom, doom, 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 doom. And Golovkin's smiling. Hey, no, guy, and walking out like, what the fuck? What is this? You know what I mean? It just, it looks staged. Jeff Horn had a prepared Oscar speech and stuff. Like, really? Aaron Rodgers with the Green Bay Packers, great quarterback. He went in. This is verified account. He says, Teddy Atlas, not too pleased. He retweeted Sports Illustrated, retweeted Kobe Bryant. He said, 117-111 on one card. What fight was that judge watching? Bradley Jinx again. Comparing it to the first one. Boxing is a joke, and it proves it again tonight. Are you kidding me with those scores? Hashtag joke, hashtag rig. See, a lot of people are, damn, he going in. But I don't, I don't think boxing is a joke because of one, one fucked up situation. But, yeah, man, people don't sound too happy, but some people like it. I'm going to keep making videos. I just want to give you guys, Manny has been robbed twice, Robert Flores says. Tim Bradley was there for both. Oh, wow. Breaking news. Boxing is now officially not considered as a sport. It's considered a business from now on. Teddy is a savage. This is great effort. I thought you lost. But great effort. I thought this guy was laying in the punches. You were told a lot that were missing. But you showed great heart. Teddy Atlas kept it real. Now, I don't like when people do this only because the face test doesn't always prove it because Marquez's face after he knocked Pacquiao the fuck out, his face looked fucked up because it looked like he had a broken nose and he was bleeding and Pacquiao got knocked out clean with the right hand and he was asleep. So his face looked really clean. So the face test doesn't always, doesn't always show the end result. Oh, wow. Y'all making, making jokes with the Steve Harvey. Yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to do some more videos. Wow. Shout out to my dude, Jamel Heron. He said, man, Floyd Mayweather, please don't give McGregor hope. These judges ain't playing around. Clearly. So. Wow. People are going in. Let me know what you guys think, who you had winning and why. And what rounds did you give who? Rosie Perez, and she quoting Teddy, Dag, I thought you lost. Keeping it real. Yeah, well, I felt the same way. Let me know what you guys think. Wow. I cannot see him legally blind. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the videos always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, Egos.